Insecurities of YouTubers never ends. Just listen to Jay Alter, who's one of my favorite YouTubers, and I watch every single one of his videos. My last video, a flop, a stinker, a 10 of 10. Flops are like wasps. No one likes them, and the world would be a much better place without them, which is why I try and avoid flops like the plague. And then there's Ali Abdal, who has millions of YouTube subscribers. Just listen to him talk about his statistics and worrying about them. It's so easy to get fixated on the ups and downs of the algorithm and like what's happening right now and what's happening this week. I find myself thinking about when I look at our kind of internal company scorecard with like the numbers and the metrics and stuff. And I'm like, oh no, like our LinkedIn reach has gone down this week. Shit, what are we going to do? And then I get, give myself a bit of perspective. I'm like, who cares? It's just a week. We're planning to do this for the next 30 years. Who gives a shit about the performance of like a piece of content in, in a given week? The goal is to keep on playing the game. And by just keeping on going, that is the thing that's going to make you successful, however you deem success. Just like Ali Abdal said, if we're going to be playing this game indefinitely for decades, then it doesn't matter how well your videos are doing this week or next week or this month. It doesn't matter in the long run if you're going to be doing this for decades. And that's the plan for me. I plan to make these videos for decades. But every time I'm uploading a video, I just automatically automatically see how many views my previous videos are getting and how my subscriber count isn't really moving that much these days. And I think, oh, it has an immediate impact on my mood because it has such a negative impact. I'm thinking, how do I get rid of these numbers? So I actually downloaded an extension called Goodbye Metrics that gets rid of subscriber count and gets rid of view count for every one of your videos. From now on, I'm not going to care how many subscribers I have at the current moment and how many views my videos are getting. I'm doing this for decades, remember, so I just have to worry about, am I happy about the content that I'm putting out into the world? All the other numbers don't matter. I don't even need to check when I'm gonna get monetized because I will be notified when I'm eligible to become monetized. So I don't even need to keep checking how many watch hours I'm getting or how many subscribers I'm getting if I'm reached a thousand subscribers. So let's not worry about the numbers and just enjoy the ride. Today I made an extra video. I hope to keep making extra videos on top of my daily videos to bring in new audiences and also to go back on my older style of videos before I started making dailies. So here comes the pet montage. See you tomorrow, 1% better every day, baby. Good morning, Tigger. Tigger came for morning cuddles again. using a little, see this? It's to support her weight on her back leg. And Tigger came out. It's like spring weather today. Mochi. Mochi Tigger. Tigger Mochi. Hungry? He's leading me. Tigger. Tigger. <laughs>